So we are working in InDesign and we've been exporting PDFs for, let's say, clients or for printing. And those are compact little files. It's great. I can send a PDF, people can view it. But in InDesign, I can't just send this file to people. There's a couple of problems with it. First of all, InDesign, you have to pay for it. So if you don't have InDesign, you won't be able to open it. The second part is InDesign is a file that is linking to all of your images. And it also links to all the fonts that you're using. So as a designer, you have to be able to have the ability to send all of this to another person so they can open it on their end and edit that. That's part of a designer's job. You're going to learn that in this lesson. And at the end, you'll learn how to also compress it and save it into a either a zip folder or a compressed folder. I'm on a Mac, so uh, the lesson might be a little different, but it's the same, same idea. Okay, let's say I'm done with my design. I'm ready to uh, package this up. So first of all, I would save it. I have an untitled document, that's no good. So I need to save it and I'm gonna throw it on my desktop and let's call this um, test file. Okay. I've saved my InDesign file and I've saved it to where I want it to go. But now I'm gonna make another file for another designer. In your case, it's gonna be your teacher is gonna ask for this. So the way you do that is you're going to do a file and then what's called package. And we're going to package things up. And there's a summary here that says, hey, I'm going to package fonts and linked images and colors and plugins and all this stuff. You can look at the fonts that it's going to gather. So it's actually going to make a copy of the fonts on your computer and put them in this folder. Any linked images, these are the images that it's going to make a copy of. Any color uh, systems that you've had, I, everything. Okay. It's going to package it up. So you just hit package, you tell it where I'm going to just do my desktop for now. Um, it's probably going to give you warnings. I just have this kind of block of copy here. That's fine. And then it's going to look like it's saving a bunch of stuff and it's not going to open anything. So I'm going to hit hide. And, um, what we have is a folder and this folder is nicely organized. We have one for fonts. So these are fonts that you can install them on other computers. So if you would send this to another designer, they can install it and use your file. You have to send fonts. You have links, all the images that were used in your document. Or there they are. Um, there's a markup language file, which we don't really use. And then there's the InDesign file. That's the really the the one that your designer wants, but they have to have the links as well. And then my program packaged up a PDF as well, which is a nice preview. So that's great. It just made a whole folder for me. Very organized. Look at that. The next part is you can't email a folder. You can email a compressed folder though. So on a PC, you would right click and uh, send to compressed folder. That's the difference here. I can't demonstrate that for you here. So it's a right click. On a Mac, it's right click and compress. They're in the same kind of menu, but there you go. It's a compressed folder. This is called a zip file.zip. And if you have a zip file, let's, let's pretend I don't have my folder here and you sent it off to another designer, they would get this. They double click on it. It will be uncompressed. And there you go. All the files are inside. So it's a common way to send files back and forth to each other. This is what you're going to turn in for your assignment, not a PDF. I don't want a PDF this time. I want you to package it, either compress if you're on a Mac, or you're going to do a zip file for through right click, um, send to compressed file. So ask me questions about that. I'll try to post a uh, little uh, picture of what, what it looks like too when I get to school. All right. Good luck with that. Packaging files is part of a designer's job. Um, hopefully that tutorial helped you out.